Now, um, the Fast and Furious Seven comes out in April, and yes. but it must have been tough for you for you to shoot without your co-star Paul Walker. And, and, and they're both looking at me right now like, is this going to be too much for him? Yeah, no, it's a bad... Because it could be. Yeah. We could change the tone of the whole show real no. quick. <laughs> it's a very... Yeah. It's a heavy thing, Michael, yeah. you know? Um, I grew up in the bouncing world, and we lost people while we were bouncing. Mm. But the brotherhood in, in Paul Walker was something completely different. It was... Someone that we we grew up in the business together, and we became famous together, and we represented the biggest franchise together, and he was my my partner. And it's a strange thing to I've been acting all my life, and they don't teach you in acting how to mourn someone and simultaneously pretend they're in a scene with you. Yeah, right. So it's uh. It's one of the darker moments in the, in this in my journey, but yeah, 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 guys. You know, it's a rough one. You all had people you loved that passed away, and it's not just that he passed away, but it was so sudden, unexpected, it was so tragic. Sudden, it was so unexpected, and and when you do, a lot of people don't realize when you do these action movies you put your life on the line more than you should. Mm -hmm. Bouncing, I was a knucklehead. It, I, it was a different life. It was, uh, I was so excited to make $100 a night uh, and the, the, the risk that came with being a New York City bouncer, also, there was also a cachet about being a New York City bouncer. When you're doing these action films, if you're a thespian and for, for lack of a better description, a method-like thespian. When you go into these action sequences, you put yourself in harm's way in, in, in uh, kind of an unfair fashion. If you're on the set with me, you'll hear the guys, the grips, talk about a stunt. I'll give you an example. Just a couple of months ago, I was doing a stunt and, they, and I heard these numbers going around. And someone was saying eight to one and twelve to one, and I said, "What does eight to one mean?" And they said, uh, "And I said, is it what I think it is?" And they said, "Yeah, there's an eight to one ratio. You could something could happen bad if it, if you roll a one. If it, the chances. You guys follow me? The eight yeah, to one chances. Crazy. And I said, "That's uh, that's. I, I'm an actor. Why am I in that?" And, and the grip said, uh, that's nothing. Just on Monday, you were doing a four-to-one stunt. 